October 22nd. God bless y'all. I feel an urgency, a very strong urgency that I need to tell you. The time is so short. There's no time to waste at all. I mean, we have very, very little time. The Lord has shown us so many things. You know, including this angel blowing the trumpet over my head here. Photo taken in 1977. And I've asked everybody to uh, read Revelations 17 and 18 because of the dream that I had about the little horns on everybody. You know, and it showed me where the father kissed me on the forehead. And he had blood around his lips, which that was the blood of Jesus Christ. I've got more people coming against me on this channel right now than ever before. And I feel we are so close that they are attacking us more than you can imagine right now. And I've heard it from other people out there as well that are constantly being attacked where they're looking for just one word, just anything that doesn't rhyme right with them to condemn one of us on that just to try to make us look bad. We are so close to leaving. Jesus said, know them by the fruits, by their fruits, okay? Now, when they produce fruit, this is what they say to one another, okay? You'll know just by what they do. And are they comforting? He said to comfort one another in these end times. You see more people today that are not doing that. I feel that we have such very little time here. Um... It's, it's very important and vital to uh, be focused on repenting of all of our sins, um, comforting one another. If there's people out there that are constantly cons uh, wanting conflicts and confusion and causing division, I highly recommend to stay away from those people. Because a lot of these people, um, they're scoffers and mockers. And they're just going to cause a lot of... They're going to be like vampires. They're going to suck the life out of you. They're the ones that are going to be wearing us down constantly. And mocking us constantly. <clears throat> I try to share my email. I try to share my uh, texting with people. I spend every day, all day, just anything I can do to encourage people to get them ready. I feel I'm out here right now. In the wilderness, in a tent, because we're at that time. I feel we've arrived to that time. You see, I'm camping out in the tent. This is that time of the year. You know, in the Bible, where the Jewish people are celebrating. And uh, this intense. <clears throat> I've been following and doing this now for several years. I got awakened to this in 2001. Every year kept getting worse than the year before. I started seeing how people were boasting about getting over on other people, bragging about things that were that I felt was very wrong. <clears throat> My business, I had to shut it down because in order to compete, I would have to lie and cheat because uh, I used to give 20-year warranties where everybody else was given 12-month warranties. They were doing the, not doing the preparation. They were getting the work done in half the time, which is impossible to do it right. Well, I had to shut it down because I had to make a choice. I had people tell me, Mark, if you speak less about Jesus Christ, we'll build, we'll turn your business around. I said, that ain't going to happen. And another thing, to, to compete in what's going on in this world today, it's all over. We were created to worship the Father in heaven. We were created for that purpose. The churches fell away. They got into prosperity and all that. They no longer know the truth. The truth is not in them. If it was in them, they'd be out here right now doing what we're doing. Just the time that I've been here, this lake, I've seen it going down and down and down where there's hardly any water out there anymore. And it was further in the banks. Things are drying up. Fast. I mean, real fast. A lot of water. No telling how much water is coming out of this lake daily. <clears throat> this is a bad sign. We're getting. It's a good sign that we're getting ready to go home, but it's a bad sign that so many people are not seeing the truth. We can't make people do what they don't want to believe in. We have to have faith. 
Faith is the biggest thing, man. Believe it in Jesus Christ at what he did for us. I have, I have the strongest feeling that we're getting ready to go home. That this is all over. Because when the father kissed me on the forehead, I had that dream the other day. Last, about a week and a half ago. I believe that was him telling me that I've done all that I'm supposed to do. That I'm finished here. I honestly feel that I'm finished here. Because look at work. Where I ended up here. I'm out here in the wilderness. I'm sleeping in a tent. This is the time of the year according to the Jewish calendar. That's what we're supposed to be doing. I believe if, if anybody, if there's any time right now, this would be it to seek him while he can be found. Because after we're gone, the only thing that's left is the great tribulation. And it's going to be a horror. It's going to be a nightmare. All these things that people love so much. Or they're going to lose it all because it's going to be worthless. They ain't nothing, it's not going to be worth anything. This is We're not created for this. We were created to worship the Father in heaven. The devil did all this stuff. Worldliness. He drew everybody away by money. And this is not how we're supposed to be living. Read Psalms 92. I told you when Bush read 23 and then Obama seven years later doubled what Bush did. Then the economy dropped 777 points. And then seven years later, when the Pope showed up, I doubled what Obama did. It was doubled three times. And you can't double them anymore. 46 and 46 is Psalms 92. Read it. And it speaks about what's about to happen. The Lord's God's going to come here and lay this stuff to waste, man. He's going to put it in the hearts and minds of, of everybody around the world. To destroy this place, it's gonna burn it up by fire. No, people aren't. Nobody's gonna enjoy this. There ain't gonna be nothing here to enjoy. It would be better. That's why I've been telling everybody to let it go, let it go, to let it go. And I told you we're not gonna see 2017. Anybody that sees 2017 here, it's over. It's gonna be hell on earth. It, you don't want to be here for this. Have you ever seen those four by four trucks? It says four times. Four, four by four. Well, some of them might have an F now on them or whatever, but they always said four by four. Well, Obama's the 44th president. And if you go four times four, that's 16. That's the year we're in. The signs are all around us, but you got to be watching. You can't be in this world. The devil puts it out there for people to see it, but it's to mock people. I made that video how I walked by the Halloween stuff, and there's all these signs saying harvest, harvest. The Bible clearly says we were chosen. That's why a lot of us, we feel that we are separated, okay? We do. We feel that we're separated because we were chosen. And then the Bible clearly says in here that when we come back with Jesus Christ, it's going to be those that were chosen and those that were faithful, okay? Not those that were of the world. Not those that were, you know, maybe it is and maybe it ain't, but those that knew we have to have faith in this, okay? We have to know it in our hearts. And that's why they're attacking us so bad right now. They're not attacking these people that are enjoying their lives. They know who they're focusing on. They're focusing on the saints. The Bible clearly says it. Jesus is coming for us. And when we come back with him, he says those that come back with him are those that were chosen and those that were faithful. I feel a high urgency, man, more than I, I can't even explain it. It's like I feel like I may not get another chance to do this. I feel like I may not get another chance to tell you this. That's how important it feels to me right now. You know, in just the four or five days that I've been sitting here, the water just evaporating out of this place. It's just disappearing. It's evaporating into nothing. And... uh this lake is going down like you wouldn't believe. Everything is, all this is about over, okay? It's almost all over. And I feel like once we go, it's going to be like back-to-back -back disasters. Because the Bible even says they're going to go, Lord, Lord, let us in. Okay? There's going to be people coming up against us, um, causing division. And you're going to think you're talking to normal people. But let me tell you something. They're not going to be normal people. When I came here, I spent, I showed you the receipt. I spent exactly uh, $337.77 to get this tent and a sleeping bag and a little chair to sit in. 
Okay, the 33 represents Jesus Christ. The three sevens were in that time of the year, the Jewish calendar, 5777. Seven, seven. I took that photo with the angel in uh, 77 when I was 17. There's three sevens. Look, we're dealing with demons, okay, that were hosting people. They're, you know, when you look at what President Obama is doing and all that, man, that guy's got no control over his body. These are the things that are in him. If you make a deal with the devil, I don't care how small it is, these things can jump in you. They can jump in you and control you. You know, it's over. It's literally over. You know, I've been worried about data and all that stuff, how much I've been going through, all that. But let me tell you something. I may not get... Here's where I went out and ate dinner one day, okay? Look at it. $7.77 while I was uh, showing somebody that photo the year I took it. And that's what our change back was after the meal. $7.77. And then I was showing them the, the time I took that photo. And I just got through uh, showing that receipt where uh, I paid uh, seven dollars or three hundred and thirty-seven dollars and seventy-seven cents. You know, I mean, these this is all real. I don't feel I've got much time here. To keep doing this. I, I don't. I really don't feel there's that much time. Those of us that have been separated. We know we've been separated. Because we've been chosen. Okay. And this The sign I seen at Walmart the other day. Just put it out with the Halloween stuff. Saying harvest. The harvest is getting ready to happen. That's why we got more people attacking us right now. More than ever. You know. And I, <clears throat> I'm not nervous or afraid of anybody coming around me. Because I know I'm covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. And I know when he kissed me on the forehead. That was his seal on me. You know. When I seen the blood around his lips. I know that's the blood of Christ that's on me. And I told you. Each one of you guys have that too. And when these people are trying to give you doubt and fear. Make you feel like you're doing something. You're backbiting them. No. It's really them that's doing it. Okay, because when they come against us, we don't like what they're doing. We just need to stay away from them and just say, I'm sorry, I'll pray for you, you know, or I forgive you, but I'm going to move on. Don't sit there and bicker because all they're going to do, that's what they do. They just want to cause more chaos and division and doubt and fear. That's what they do. We're getting ready to go home. We're getting ready to go home. We've been chosen. They don't like that. They hate us worth a passion. They don't like the thought of Father God treating us as his children. They don't like that at all. God bless you. Be ready. I don't feel we have very much time here. That's why I wanted to give this message right now. I just felt a real desperate urge to do it right now. Because, uh... You know, nothing nothing matters more than this, just to get this one last message out, if that's what it is. God bless you. Tomorrow's the 23rd. I'm not sure we're going to be here by the end of October. You know, that's where I feel. I've been doing this for quite a while. And there's a lot of people that want to, you know what? It's high watch time. Very high watch time. Do not... Um, do not worry what these people say, what they might say. It doesn't matter because we know we're getting ready to go home. And it's fixing to unleash uh, something that people just don't want to be. You don't want to see what's going to be here. I was speaking with a lady earlier that says she hadn't opened up her Bible in a while. And I told her to accept Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior. To believe that he died on the cross and that was raised from the dead. And by his blood being covered over her. That she is saved in his name to believe in him. And she said she did. And I told her to find her Bible and get it out and start reading in Revelations. Start reading it and, and focusing on it. And she was worried about people that had passed away that, you know, loved ones, whatever. They're gone. God bless them. They're in a better place. You know, I mean... This We got to be focusing on our Lord Jesus Christ, not on the dead. Jesus said the dead will take care of the dead. 
We don't have to worry about them. They're in a safe place. We need to be focusing on our Lord Jesus Christ, making sure we have the blood of Christ on us. God bless you and get ready because it's at hand. We're getting ready to go home. This is it. This is it. Don't delay. Don't let these people bring you down. Don't argue with them. Don't bicker with them. Stay away from them, okay? Focus on Jesus Christ 100%. It's by his blood that we're drawn back to the Father God, okay? God bless each and every one of you.